Everybody is different. Everybody has different way of walking. There's no one way of walking. There's millions way of walking. The simple thing, if you just go down the stairs, or if you walk up the stairs, it's different. These are things that are very challenging with today's technology. I was born uh, without uh, my left hand. I start to work with two hands. I uh, need to learn to do the things with two hands. I never did it before. When I saw the first time, it's just going to be like kind of a stick that I'm walking, walking on. I was like, okay, I don't really want to do that. The first prosthesis I used uh, was a silicone prosthesis with no function. It looks good, looks like a real a natural uh, hand, but uh, with no function. The more we work on, on these products and the more we challenge ourselves in creating better product, I think the only uh, real winner is the amputee out there. These guys that have real uh, challenges in their daily life uh, will eventually be able to live uh, without limitation. Here for prosthetic device, we build everything from scratch. My specialty is a prosthetic knees. I've, I've done prosthetic knees for 15 years now. Globally, I would say that we probably cater to 10,000 or 20,000 amputee every year. Well, we have many unique products at Osu. Probably one of the most unique on the market right now is Power Knee because the product is actually uh, capable of replacing the lost mechanical function. The Power Knee introduces a new kind of technology. It's actually mimicking muscle activation. So the product can assist you getting out of the chair, can assist you walking upstairs. So whether you need to slow down or you need to actually be, uh, lift, then the knee would actually adopt the behavior and decide how much power to provide you in order to help you. We have an in-sync motion of knee and ankle, as it is in the natural situation. So we went more from a robot that does uh, what it needs to do to a, a robot that just tries to uh, follow you as much as possible. So I lost my leg when I was 19. Yeah, it was hard for me, definitely. Did not really know what to do or how my life is going to look like in the future. The mental challenge were at the beginning really hard. Just go out again and meet friends. That was at the beginning the hardest thing. Of course, maybe you want to go out, but on the other side, you don't want to because you don't want to fall in front of some kind of audience and the people are staring at you. Why are you laying on the floor? You cannot walk or what the hell is happening with you? Everything is actually a little bit more harder. Just maybe not sitting. That's maybe <laughs> compared to a normal person, that's the same. Lucas is a transfemoral amputee. He has no knee and ankle left. He's been working here for quite some time. He has a very good sense and body control that helps us to provide feedback to further develop the prototype. He uses advanced prosthetics every day. He has access to a wide selection here. He can use all the products. On top of it, Lucas is a prosthetic technician. So he also brings that clinical knowledge uh, to the equation. My main job is like to take care of the knees if we do new projects and do prototyping, giving feedback to the guys, if it's good or not, what they can do better. So I'm trying to imitate what the user is doing in his daily life. I'm doing all the stuff and see if there's something unnatural behavior in the knee. Most of us still have legs. And when you have legs, then you cannot really uh, feel things the same way as an amputee do. So Lucas is a bit of a central part in our daily operation as a research and development team. He's not starting from the, from the ground. He's already more or less quite well trained to start with. R&D at Osfur is divided in different departments. Here we specialize in the lower limb prosthetics. So all the R&D for uh, arms and hands is in Scotland. Uh, Touch Bionics is a Scottish company. We are selling our products around the world. My uh, place to work is Germany. So we have a Touch Life Center also in uh, Germany. I'm the training manager from Touch Bionics. And I start in the Cybertron competition in a powered arm prosthesis. Don't, don't cross the, the runway. We are here at the German German Nationals in uh, Eschbach at uh, Sky High. I'm a competition skydiver. I started skydiving in 2009. 
I, uh, if I ask, I want to be a skydiver, they said, okay, you need two hands. I said, you need two hands, but not me. Okay, ready for skydiving. So I did uh, 680 jumps. I uh, can pack my parachute with only one arm. I'm very proud to do it. So uh, I'm a skydiver now. So I was born uh, without my left hand. During my life with one hand, my uh, natural hand hurts very much and I say, okay, I need to think about uh, a change in my life. I want to type my keyboard, I want to hold my, uh, my iPhone, I want to do different grips. I need to think about uh, to work with two hands. Go forwards, then I have the typing finger, maybe for the keyboard. I worked five years now with two hands and it's amazing for me. Every finger moves and it moves like a real natural hand. If I think about a rotation, of the thumb, the hand will rotate. The hand could do 24 grips. I can use my app. I do a Bluetooth connection with my hand and press the button and the hand does the grip. I can use my uh, Apple Watch and type of my Apple Watch and the hand does the grip. In my stump, I feel the movement of each finger. In my thumb, I feel when I uh, type on the finger, I feel it and it's amazing for me. For me, it's not as much as winning as, uh, as really showing what the prototypes can do. I think the real winner uh, at Cybathlon will be for the end users. I was born without uh, the left hand and then I prayed to God every night as, uh, as small children that, uh, that I don't do a mistake during the day. I help my mom. <laughs> I'm very friend <laughs> friendly and I do uh, nothing wrong and then he can send me the arm. Well, I'm not doing my favorite sport anymore, like for example playing football. <laughs> but um, to have a little bit a competition between people that are in the same situation as me, that's also a kind of fun for me. Uh, Olympics are quite interesting but uh, nobody really throws javelin in daily living anymore. The Cybertron is a wonderful platform for us to introduce novel technology. And the beauty here is that they are not aiming for the superhuman performance. It's about daily activities. This is exactly where we want to implement our technology and where it has its place. I uh, want to take part to the Cybertron because I'm the only uh, woman to take part in the Cybertron. I want to show how uh, I as women could do the different tasks with my extra small hand and, uh, and my small force in my arms. It is the powered arm prosthesis race, so we show different tasks we need to do during the parkour with uh, our arm prosthesis. If we see the men, the other pilots in the parkour, they are bigger, they are taller, they have more muscles, and so it's easier, sometimes it's easier for, for them to uh, carry the weight of the prosthesis. But I train it at home and I will show the best at the Cybertron parkour. <laughs> Cybertron is definitely making me more competitive. Uh, it's, I think it's going to be really fun. I'm taking part in the powered leg competition. Of course, with the powered leg, you have to train a little bit more. You have to really like focus on the things that you're doing. So powered leg, uh, more or less, it's a power knee uh, that is coupled with an ankle module. Uh, just like on the normal leg, your ankle and your knee collaborate together in order to optimize your walking. And so with the port leg, if I'm sitting, for example, and I want to stand up, it's really like supporting me and pushing me up. So it's like, I almost don't need like my energy. The leg is doing it for me. I definitely want to win, but I'm not like really like, I really have to. Yes, I, I want to win, but uh uh, the first and the, the biggest thing is to take part, to show the people how we can do different tasks with our, in our situation with our legs, the wheelchairs or with the hands. Uh, also give, to give the people hope if they lost their hands. So it's not only an engineering competition where we make a leg but nobody can use it. What we need to do is make legs that really make life of amputees easier. I think if it was not of the Cybathlon, we would not have a prototype on end. We would not be with the power leg where we are right now, just because we want to compete. We want to do our best for each user to help them to live their life. Make things better, 
not even for me, but also for other people that are in the same situations. For me, it's, it's a part of, of, of my body. It's not only a prosthesis hand, it's, it's my hand. I say the world did not stop turning, it turns in the other way. And we will show how it can work. Thank you.